1 John 3 Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us, by the Spirit which he hath given us. Eh, hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakagodash. Much peace and mercy to brothers that are in the spirit and in understanding and in, in belief of the new covenant, the actual uh, narrative that's written in the New Testament. Um, you're not waiting on anything. You have full access to believe in the new covenant, repent to the new covenant, utilize the principles and cut off this world as much as possible to follow the new covenant this is what the lord opened up for us through his his uh his sacrifice man and many men in these last days are in complete rebellion to that new covenant because they are carnal and seeking a sign which the lord said and warned us about seeking a sign see there's a reason why there's a reason why we easily understand it and it's 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 in our eyesight our mind's eye it's because the Lord gave us that understanding in this book here. Um, and this is how you can tell who is of God. You have to understand that you understanding this, your consciousness, <laughs> your consciousness is of God. It doesn't matter about the flesh that you're in. All right. Paul talked about this in the book of Romans. All right. If you're of God, you are 
sent from the Most High, as the Hawashai said, as they, as I was in the world, so have I sent them into the world. And he prayed for to keep the evil from us. This is talking about certain spirits that were perfected and what? That were put into a covenant with the Most High in that time the Lord lived. After he what? He gave himself. So God's telling you that you're of some kind of, you're waiting on a body, you're waiting to be in the land. Guys are bamboozling a lot of men in these last days because they themselves don't even have understanding. All right, why? Because these are... As this, as the covenant is taught, and as I'll just keep it simple like this: as Yahweh Shai taught, you have to remember that out of envy they delivered him up. Let's grab that real quick. So this is the working of Satan. This is how you know this is Satan. All right, these are these men today are in the spirit of Cain. All right, they killed his brother. This is why this is spoken of so much in the scriptures. Okay. Now let me grab a scripture real quick. These guys are in the spirit of Cain. And what did the Lord come to do? He came to destroy the works of the devil and Satan. Cain. All right, guys tell you to focus on Esau, but it's showing you guys spiritually are of their father, the devil. Why do you think the Lord said this in the book of John? <laughs> All right, so you have to understand what's happening in this time. There are many men that have been set up. Uh, that are have the Bible in their hand trying to teach the scriptures to our people that are not even sent from God. They're of this world. There are men that were born of God and there were men that were born after the spirit. And this is what you're seeing uh, when you uh, view this conflict that we're having uh, between us that are telling our people that the covenant is fully accessible, like the scripture tells us, and those that don't believe in the scriptures or see it spiritually. Why is this? This is because these men are born after the flesh. These men are after the spirit of Cain, after the spirit of Satan. They have not fully repented in their mind. <laughs> so they're still following the tenets and rudiments and things of this world. All right. So let me grab some real quick. And this is why they delivered up Yahweh Shai, man. Just as, um, and it's so heavy too, because if you, um, if you observe the, the story of Cain and Abel, ultimately Cain was jealous and envious of Abel, which is why what? Which is why he did what he did and he killed him. This is why this happened. So this is the same thing concerning Yahweh Shai and those wicked scribes and Pharisees. They delivered him up because the spirit that he was sent unto the earth with was of God. And he actually understood that what he was fulfilling prophecy as being the son of the most high. So he understood all these things. So anything, anybody that wasn't following him wasn't spiritually connected to the most high. And this is what you're seeing now. If you can't understand this covenant that is fully accessible, it's easy to read in the scriptures. People that don't even stand out on the highways and byways showing you that doesn't have nothing to do with it. I understand what was uh, initiated in the first century. Let me grab this real quick. This is Mark 15, and it's heavy too, man. Guys are envious, and this goes back. Guys are envious of the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> guys are envious of Yahweh Shai getting the glory. You guys are envious that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh and pleased the Most High as what? Abel pleased the Most High with his sacrifice and Cain was angry. So you still have a remnant of our people that are of their father. This is why Yahweh Shah said, you are of your father, the devil. So you can clearly see in this time who is of God and who's of the world. Who's of this carnal fleshly world. By what? By trying the spirit, by the spirit that's in the scriptures, the spirit of the new covenant, which is Yahweh Shah's spirit. This is Mark 15. And this is why they delivered up Yahweh Shai. Mark 15 and 1. And straightway in the morning, the chief priests held a consolation with the elders and scribes and the whole council and bound Yahweh Shai and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered, and he answering said unto him, Thou sayest. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. 
And this is what's happening as we teach the new covenant. Guys are saying, uh, who do you guys think? What do you guys, the, the prophets coming back? Who do you guys think you're this and that? We're not saying anything. You're saying these things. We're just teaching what the Lord told us to teach in the scripture. Spiritually, it's showing you guys understand something and see something. <laughs> the same thing that was happening for uh, with Yahweh Shai, man. Same thing that because it's spiritual because it, through the spirit you can perceive who's of God if you're if you're in the spirit. Even the the demons understand that we're of God. Even these niggas in the camps know that we're of God. They know we ain't wicked, and they know that what we're saying in the scriptures is scriptural. It's all in the scriptures. And the spirit that we're coming in is a spirit they can't accept, which is Yahweh Shai's spirit. This is that spirit that um, in the book of Acts the Lord told the disciples that will come upon them. And that they will receive power. This is that spirit. But it's not being given to everyone. And those that are not being given it and don't understand it are envious and jealous against it. All right, just as they were jealous against the Lord. Mark 15 and 2. And Pilate asked him, Are thou and that spirit of Cain, man? All right. That spirit of Cain. It goes back to Cain and Abel, man. <laughs> it's very heavy, man. Mark 15. Mark 15 and 2, and Pilate asked, asked him, Are thou the king of the Jews? And he answering said unto him, Thou sayest it. And the chief priest accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answers thou nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against thee. But Yahweh is yet answering nothing, so that Pilate marveled. Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with him that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answering said, but Pilate answered them saying, will ye that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priest had delivered him for envy, for he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. What is that showing you? <laughs> this is why we understand that Esau's not worried about you guys, man. Even Esau, this is why Yahushua said, those that delivered me to you have the greatest sin. You guys denying this covenant and denying what happened in the, in the first century, you're telling our people right now and have been set up and have exalted yourself in these last days and you're saying that we're waiting on the covenant. You guys are in complete... Uh, rebellion against what happened in the first century. You're not looking at this uh, in a historical eye either. So guys are in complete rebellion in a man-pleasing, idolatrous spirit following men that are leading you away from the actual narrative of the New Testament, man. It's very demonic and it's sad, man. How guys, grown men, are afraid to follow the narrative of the scriptures and rather follow what a man says that tells you you're waiting. When the Lord in the first century gave you full access. So what exactly is going on in these last days, man? It's wicked, evil men set up over our people that are not actually sent of God. You have to remember those that were sent of God, they were outside of the city. They were not inside the synagogues. They were not inside the big groups. They were not amongst the multitude. Yahusha was out. Uh, he was out away from the cities because what did you have set up in the cities you had synagogues and sanhedrins set up in the city so yahushua was a man that dwelt like in the suburbs so to speak and many what they traveled out to the suburbs imagine a, a, a suburb that you know of traveling an hour hour and a half two hours out to see the lord by foot showing you he was completely different Everybody that was in the city was of the world, just like you have today. And these guys that were in, that are set up today over our people that are what? Still pushing after the order of Aaron when it clearly, clearly tells you that we're after a new order. The Lord set up a new order. These guys are leading you back into the curse, man. And this is why Pilate understood that the spirit and the things that Yahushua was teaching, it was so uh, profound to the point where what? Even an Edomite knew that his own people delivered it up because they were jealous of him. <laughs> Just like you have today. Guys will be in camps and groups, but they're afraid of men. Let me grab that real quick. 
but they're so afraid of men that they won't leave the camp to follow what the scripture says because they hate the vessel that's bringing forth the understanding it's very demonic and that's what happened with the lord they hated the lord they were envious of the lord he even said he said they hated me without a cause instead of listening to the message and try to understand the message guys want to keep their power keep their image guys want to be right and this is showing you who's of god who's of god is going to come forth and understand it and what they're going to leave the camp they're, and if they're not in the camp, they're going to just believe in the Lord and look at and see what camps are in a better light now. Mark 15. Mark 15 and 6. Now at that feast, he released unto them one prisoner whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with him that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of, Jew of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priests, for he knew that the chief priests, for he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. But the chief priests moved the people that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, what will ye then that I shall do unto him whom ye call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, crucify him. Then Pilate said unto them, why? What evil hath he done? And they cried out the more exceedingly, crucify him. And so Pilate, willing to, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Yahweh when he had scourged him to be crucified, man. So this is what happened. Let me grab something real quick. These guys are in the spirit of Cain, man, because what we're teaching you is directly coming out of the scriptures. It's the direct narrative of what happened in that time. We're telling you exactly what happened because the Lord, because the how about Shemiel Shai has given us the understanding, the spirit and the revelation to teach these things. Let me grab something real quick. This is guys are so much so carnal. They're not even listening to the spirit. And like the brother said, man, we try to show love by doing these lessons with all the hate that we get. We still do it with all the hell and things that we have to go through us being in captivity with the wicked of our people. All right. Showing you the actual narrative because the Lord sent us back in this time with that understanding because we were from we're the same spirits. We keep telling people this. But you have men that don't want to lose their place that are set up. That are envious. Same spirit they have for Yahweh Shai. Same spirit. Let me grip, get this real quick. It's a very heavy scripture I want to grab. They don't understand through the spirit. This is this is the actual uh, Holy Spirit, the Most High, or Yahweh Shai spoke on. I think it's in Acts when it happened to Paul. What's being revealed is who's of God. Let me grab, let me see if I can find it. This is Galatians chapter one. Kai's not even following the spirit. Um, Galatians one. And like the brother said, man, we used to be in the synagogues. We used to dwell in the city with God, the spirit, the uh, the city, modern day city today would be being in a big group camp organization. So much so that you guys are so much of the world, man. I was listening to the radio, man. You guys, you guys are on the fuck. ISUBK is on the fucking radio now, man. You guys are in the city. You guys are of that world. You are like at that time. You guys are not dwelling without the city like how I was. You're not even without. That's why you're not even in the spirit. The spirit is without the city, without all of that carnal show, all the exaltation, all that stuff that's fleshly, all, all that spirit, the spirit of trying to prove something to people. This is why the Lord said when he came that I received not honor of men. He understood. And what men don't understand is that there, this is not a, a, a office of trying to 
please men or something. You're trying to be seen or you're doing a you're doing you're on a mission teaching the, the covenant, not the old, the new. Yahweh was teaching after a new order, the new covenant, letting you know to put away Moses. But now you have guys in these last days that are teaching you to what? Stay adhere to Moses and neglect the new, which Yahweh was teaching. So you gotta understand what's happening in the spirit. And you have to understand that the men teaching have been what separated to under to show you that what to show you who's really who the Lord is really in who's actually the Israel of God. This is what's being shown because what Yahusha only made a covenant with the Israel of God, so they would have the understanding, though they be in the flesh, <laughs> as everyone else in this uh in this world. But their spirit is not of this world, just as the Lord said. They are not of this world, even as I am not of this world. Galatians chapter 1, verse 15. You know what? Galatians chapter 1, verse 11. But I certify you, this is Paul, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. This is the spirit of what we're teaching. This gospel, guys, say, what doctrine is that? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Them guys teach a false doctrine. They're demons. They're with that. That's the new covenant demon. This and that. Because they can't understand or perceive what we're teaching. Because they're blind. They're spiritually blind to what we're teaching. It's heavy. In their mind's eye, they can't see it or understand it. But those that are of God, it's clear. To the pure, all things are pure. And that's why I said in that first John that this belief in Yahweh's new covenant makes you pure. So you can't be pure, which is how we know you niggas ain't right. All right denying the covenant because you won't understand the purity of the new covenant you won't understand the covenant because you're not pure in order to be pure you have to be in a belief of the new covenant and an agreement and what in a repentance and uh, understanding of the principles learning the lord the new way the new order not what moses set up when it tells you even Moses himself spoke on the Lord coming and that you would have to follow him. Keep telling guys this, man. So what the Lord has done is he has separated men unto himself to what? To declare and show you who I'm in. This is what's happening. Because they're able to comprehend the covenant. They're able to cl clearly and correctly, rightly dividing all right, the New Testament and letting you know that the covenant is fully accessible spiritually it's a it's a covenant you walk in and utilize the principles of man until the lord comes this is what guys and they don't understand the simplicity that is in yahweh shy galatians chapter 1 verse 2 verse 12 for i neither received it of man neither was taught it how did who taught us this guys guys will tell you it's so heavy bro this is the same thing the wicked scribes and pharisees did to um to the disciples, to Yahushua, to Paul. Where did you get, they'll tell you, where did you get this authority? Who taught you? You were this and that in the can. It's the same thing the wicked scribes and Pharisees were doing to the believers of Yahushua, those that were of God in that time. All right, and it's heavy because those that were in the Sanhedrin and synagogues, they were teaching the order of Aaron, after the order of Aaron, after the old law, and they weren't even of God. This is why Yahushua said, you... You say you're uh, disciples of Moses, but you keep not the, the law of Moses. So you and calling them hypocrites, which is what we have today in this time, because guys fail to swallow their pride and ego. Galatians 1 and 13, for you have heard. Let's lock it. Galatians 1 and 12, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai. So this is showing you men will tell you in these last days you can't receive revelations. This is how this is this is the bondage that we're talking about and this, this is the bondage that the scriptures are speaking on. It's, it's a spiritual bondage that men will try to put you in in these last days. Now nah, you can't get no revelations. Okay, if that's the case then the prophets of old this is why they what? They tormented and they did that what they did to the prophets of old, the wicked of our people. Because they felt that they were the authority and that, what, no man that wasn't in, in, in any authority or was, what, found insignificant could have a revelation. So you see this same dynamic playing out over and over again throughout our people because you have, you always have 
uh, those that are not of God set up over our people, man. And the Lord came finally, as we uh, read in First John, the third chapter, to what? To destroy the devil and his works. To destroy that spirit that's not right. <laughs> All right. So this is what has been revealed to us certain ones in these last times. Simple. In the book of uh, 1 John, the third chapter, tells you that this is evident by the spirit that we've been given. We weren't, we don't, we wouldn't, we didn't create ourselves. We came out of the womb understanding the scriptures from this perspective because it's a certain spirit that the Lord gave us, which Paul's going to speak on here. Galatians chapter 1, verse 12. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion. See, exactly, because what? We were in the synagogues. We were in the camps and groups and organizations. What? And the Lord pulled us out. This was not of our doing. Guys don't understand the scriptures and will still think this is you. And still think they have control. Proverbs. What is it? Uh, I believe it's like 1 or 21. Man's goings are of the Lord. Showing you guys are hypocrites, but when the scriptures... Uh, when they need to utilize the scriptures, it, they use it for themselves. This is what exactly what the wicked scribes and Pharisees were doing. When scriptures benefit them, when stuff benefited them to keep the law and keep this in the old, uh, according to the old covenant, they will utilize it to keep their power. And this is what guys are doing in these last days. So it's nothing new under the sun, man. This, they think this is us talking. This is the spirit. This is why the same spirit that what? Yahweh was in when he came to Paul in the mind and tell him you're kicking against the pricks. You're crucifying the Lord. This is what you guys are doing when you come against us. We're just teaching the Lord. So what? How are we demons? So we're demons for teaching the Lord. But that's fine. Same spirit. And then you can see the, the, the similarities of the spirit in this time. Same thing they did to the Lord. They call him a demon. If guys are being healed and seeing what we're saying, that means we're healing men. This is why the Lord told them, how can a devil cast out a devil? If we're demons, how are we healing people? Same thing is happening today through the spirit, man. It's very heavy. Galatians 1, and guys are so carnal. They don't perceive it because they perceive that they were sent and set up, but they're not because they're not going. They don't fit what happened in the scriptures. But they call themselves so called apostles. <laughs> well, 44 is crazy. Galatians 1 and. 14 the lord said in the scriptures the lord shall send forth the apostles last so if you came first and set up everything and we was doing this first and this and that first how can you be last it doesn't make sense and everything's being exposed you can't be first and last <laughs> it's, it's heavy man galatians 1 and 11 these scriptures uh it says the scriptures that uh, your neighbor come and searches you out man Galatians 1 and 13, for ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews religion, religion, how in the, let's read that again, man. This is heavy. Galatians 1 and 13, for ye have heard of my conversation in time past, in time past. So let's see here what, if Paul's talking about something that he was doing in times past, what was he currently in, in that time that he was saying this? You don't, guys don't even have the comprehension to understand what the fuck they're reading, man. Not understanding that he was in a new covenant and agreement and in new understanding because of Yahweh Shai, which is the new covenant that we're teaching. So much so that he, what, he looked at what he was doing according to the old law of Moses in the synagogue because he was a Pharisee as something as time past, man. I don't know how much clearer you could break this down to guys, but this is showing you those that disagree with this understanding. They're not of God. They're reprobate men in these last days. It's heavy. So be blessed are your eyes for they see. Blessed are your eyes for they hear. This is why you have saying these things. Galatians 1 and 13. For you have heard of my conversation in times past in the Jews religion. So Paul was saying you have heard of my conversation or my um, my conduct. When I was a Pharisee in the temples and in the, the Sanhedrin's and synagogues, crucifying those that believe in what I believe in now, before I would see it's heavy, bro. When the Lord knocked Paul off of the horse, he didn't just knock him off the horse. He knocked him off the horse and what he, he was brought into a covenant in agreement with the Lord, a spiritual agreement. So much so that what if 
Paul was keeping the old law, he tells you, I believe it's, ah, what scripture is that? He tells you that to them that were without law, he, he became without law. The wicked scribes and Pharisees that were keeping the old law, they would look down on anybody that would, they were, anybody was, somebody was a disgrace if they weren't after the old law of Moses. So it's showing you what law and what spiritual covenant, what principles were these men after in the New Testament? What were they teaching? It wasn't the old law of Moses. Galatians 1, it's heavy, man. Galatians 1 and 14 and Galatians 1 and 13, for ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of the Most High and wasted it and profited in the Jews' religion. That's what you guys are in right now, the Jews' religion. That's what you guys are in, the camps, groups, and organizations in this time. They're the, that's the, compared to the Jews' religion of old time. You guys are the guys that are inside the Jews' religion. The old law of Moses, carnal commandments, days, months, traditions of men. That's the Jews' religion. Yeah, I wish I wasn't in that. Paul wasn't in that. After the Lord knocked Paul off the horse, he utilized Paul as a vessel. So a certain spirit entered Paul. What spirit is that? <laughs> It's the same spirit that we that we teach you the new covenant in. The same spirit that's giving us giving us the understanding of this. Just as Paul had it revealed to him here, this is the same thing that's taking place with us. And guys are they are angry because that's showing you who's of God. It's showing you the cho who's chosen. Anyway, these our spirits were perfected in the first century. This is just the the the. Uh, the, the latter end of everything that happened in the first century, man. Showing that you guys are, a lot of you guys are those same guys that what? Were against the Lord when he was on the earth. Your, your spirit is against the spirit that he came in, man. It's very heavy. Galatians 1, because that's the spirit we come in and you guys hate us. That's why the Lord said, if they hated me, they shall hate you. Nobody knows about you guys out there on the highways and byways, man. Galatians 1 and 14 and profited in the jews religion above many my equals in mine own nation brothers uh certain brothers were uh, heads of camps all right certain brothers were heavy in the scriptures inside you know we were inside the camps but what guys are not understanding is that the lord separated us <laughs> separated the wheat from the tares Tears multiple in that in that scripture, showing you the Lord separates the few from the many. Sounds like what's happening now. Galatians chapter one, verse 14 and profited in the Jews religion above many my equals in mine own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased the most high who separated me from my womb, from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me. That's what's happening. You and I and you and you and me, the Lord is showing you who Yahweh, who is of Yahweh, who is of Yahweh Shai's in this time. But as Israel does all the time, they never like who the Lord sends. When Israel is in a dire state at the bottom, destroyed, an embarrassment of the nations, and the Lord sends them people, judges, saviors, look what they do to them. Cause it's so car people are so carnal and in the flesh. Same thing that's happened to now. Same thing that happened with Yahushai. But they don't realize what who they did. They don't understand that who they did that to is the son of the Most High. They didn't understand that then until after he was gone. So you have to understand the spirit of Yahushai. If he's in you and you have the same spirit of him, the world's gonna hate you. Guys in camps and groups and organizations. Claiming that they're Israelites, but denying the covenant when you pick up the Bible and that's what the whole New Testament is about and you go and read out of it and still deny it, it's showing you that they're still of this world. They're of this realm. It'll give you a clear distinction who is not of this world in this last time by what they're teaching. Galatians 1 and 14 and profited in the Jews religion above many my equals in mine own nation being more ex exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased the most high who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen. 
immediately I confer not with flesh and blood. So, so for the simple fact that we're teaching this and been teaching this and people are understanding and repenting and are being made able to see just like what was happening in the first century guys men and women were being made uh, uh able to see because they were blind women were being healed people were being healed people were be they were being given a new understanding a new way to look at Righteousness, and that was all according to what what Yahweh was teaching, the doctrine he was teaching, the gospel he was teaching. It's very heavy, man. He used to let our people know the kingdom of heaven is within you, those that are actually of God. Galatians one and fourteen, it profited. At Galatians one and fifteen, but when it pleased the Most High, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by His grace to reveal His Son in me, that I might preach Him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Guys, talking about you got to check in and you. I heard a guy say one time, uh, "There's a word of these things. If you get revealed things." It's a certain protocol you got to go through and you got to see if it's right. You got to check what the hell. Did. That's not what Paul went through. Paul didn't confer with no flesh and blood. He did not go back up to men to see what his rev oh, brother. Is this, is this what my revelation means? No, that's not what Paul was doing here. That's what we just read. He said, I confer not with flesh and blood. He didn't confer or have a conference or talk or speak with anybody in the flesh. He went to immediately go teach what was revealed to him. Which is what happened to certain of us. Which is what God's not understanding. That is this is what hap this is what is happening through the Spirit. Get my words all tied together because it's so much stuff that it's just so much, it's so heavy. What's happening with right now? <laughs> Galatians one and seventeen. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years. <laughs> I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter in a bowl with him 15 days. So that Paul went out straight teaching. He's like, this is spirit. He understood who he was. He understood what spirit was dealing with him. So what's happening is guys are envious of that. And it goes back to that. This is showing you like I started my lesson with guys are in the spirit of Cain, man. And what has happened is they're jealous of us because of what, what reason? Because the curse of Cain is undone, or the curse, the curse of Cain, the curse of the law, the curse that goes all the way back to, uh, 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 that goes back forth to Adam, all of this, all of these things is undone in the elect, in those that are in agreement with Yahushua. That's why they're the elect. That's why they're the Jerusalem that is free. That's why they are the Jerusalem of what? Of the heavens, of God, of the free woman. All those things are undone in this remnant. It's not so in those that deny the covenant. It's showing you who, what you are of. <laughs> you are of that wicked one. The spirit of Cain is still upon our people, man. This is why... Paul and the Lord compared our people to Cain, compared our people to Satan and the devil, man, because they'll kill you out, out of envy. They'll murder you and hate you, which is what guys are doing now through video epistles electronically. They can't do it because they have no power in the sign. These are the same spirits. But electronically, they'll crucify you. Electronically, they'll persecute you. Plaster your face, your face up, call you a demon, say what you're teaching is demonic, which is the same thing they did to the Lord. What doctrine is this? They were doing to the Lord, man. You guys are clowns, man, because you're in this. Every, everybody is in their lots. That's what guys don't understand. And we're in the flesh, you're in the flesh, but our spirits bear witness with the spirit that's in these scriptures and what they were actually teaching in the New Testament that we are the actual children of the Most High. Because what? We're in agreement with Yahushua's covenant. We understand that the old was done away and that he established something new. And we, what? We adhere to what he established. Uh, Concerning a new covenant 
and it being spiritual. We understand that and we agree with that. And that's what the Lord said to agree with. It's as simple as that. It's like we it's like you got we're beating a dead horse. This is how we this is how we know you guys are not you guys are reprobates, man. And this is how we know you're not gonna be able to keep this understanding in these last days, man. Galatians chapter one, you're gonna die away with this world because you still think you're under that old law of Moses, which keeps you in bondage in your mind. You you remain in the flesh when you're still under that old after the old order. Because you're still seeking fleshly, carnal, tangible things as justification. When your spirit is not even right. This is why ugh, it's heavy, man. This is why people would just do all that stuff. It's, it's crazy, man. Do all that stuff and then just give a pigeon or something. <laughs> if you're not in, abiding in the understanding of Yahweh Shai, you're, you're in sin right now. It's very heavy. Galatians 1 and 15, but when it pleased the Most High who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me. That's what's being revealed. That I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I confer not with flesh and blood. So this is what's happening. This is why guys are envious because we immediately confer not what they ask. We didn't want to go to you and see if this is what it means. No, the Lord revealed this to us. And it's so heavy that guys are so carnal. They don't understand that it's being revealed to multiple men. Didn't the scriptures say that uh, two or three established the matter? So we understand that other guys see what we're saying. They're just afraid of their elders. When their elders are in what? They're in rebellion against what the scripture says and what Yahweh was doing in the first century. And they're leading you into that same rebellion, making you twofold, twofold the more, more a child of hell than they are. Is what's happening in this, time, in this time because they are after the spirit of Cain. Why did Cain do this? Because he understood that what um, Abel was doing was a righteous sacrifice in the eyes of the Most High. The wicked scribes and Pharisees understand that what the Lord was doing was actually healing people. They couldn't deny the works. This is why they were afraid. This is why they were making statements on how if we don't stop him, all of Israel shall follow after him. This is why they were making statements uh, concerning uh, his doctrine has what? Has spread throughout all the nation. They were afraid of him. This is why they made the statement saying, what else can he have now? <laughs> you see? If we take them now, the people will stone us. So God, Yahweh is showing you Yahweh Shai had a heavy influence in the spirit because through the spirit, men and women perceived that he was of God. This is why the most. This is why um, Yahweh Shai revealed this to Peter. He said, "Flesh and blood didn't reveal to you that who I am is who I am. Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you, man. So if you're not spiritual in this time and you're pretending and you're an actor and you're trying to you're saying you're Israelite but you're really a carnal." brute beast man of fleshly man of this world and you think you have the bible in your hand um it's being revealed through understanding and what men are teaching in these last days levels of intellect <laughs> don't the apostle you're don't the so-called self-proclaimed apostles teach about the levels of uh, intelligence <laughs> wasn't he how shy uh the serpent <laughs> they teach this <laughs> This is why Yahweh Shai said, be wise as serpents, har harmless as doves. Showing you who the Lord is dealing with, man, in this time. Because of the spirit, man. It's heavy, man. Showing you guys, showing you who's of the spirit and who's not. Let me grab this real quick. So guys, men were envious of Yahweh Shai. Just as what? Cain was envious of Abel. Grab some real quick. And what's ha heavy is too that same faith that was in Abel. It tells you in Hebrews that we have that same faith in us, the one us that understand the covenant. It's heavy, bro. Woo! Hold on, let me get this real quick, and then we'll get something else. This is Hebrews eleven, and that Cain and Abel story is very heavy, man. It's the same thing that's taking place now, man. Guys. A portion of our people are just not right. They're not of God. So they're going to be envious of those that are of God to the point where what? If they had power, they would murder them, kill them, persecute them, embarrass them, scourge them. Showing you the parallel of what was being done to our people, the righteous of our people, the prophets, by the wicked of our people all throughout uh, the history of our nation, man. Up until now, man, it's heavy. Uh, Hebrews 11. 
and four. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Because we know what you guys are teaching out on the highways and byways, claiming you're teaching the gospel. We understand that's not the sacrifice that we're supposed to be giving in this time. And that's so heavy in spirit, man. That's the spirit. The 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 the, the um. Damn, what scripture is it? Um, the main thing we're supposed to be doing right now is to. Give our body as a living sacrifice. I think the scriptures talks about it. And that's what we're doing when we teach the scriptures and everyone is against what we're teaching. <laughs> it was so heavy to the point where well, how I was teaching, like the brother says, he couldn't even be seen amongst. He couldn't be. He couldn't teach openly no more. So guys tell you guys will go out of the house. And buy, man, guys are not even in the spirit, man. They don't understand what comes with actually having the spirit because <laughs> they don't have it, man. They don't question why you how was shy. Um, <laughs> they don't question why you how was shy. Uh, hid. <laughs> he hid from those those bit that uh that he was condemning. Man, you don't understand these things, man. Spiritually, if we were amongst guys, guys would just be get carnal because they're fleshly creatures. If you couldn't reason with men, you'd have to end up just walking away because of the yelling match and shit. <laughs> Imagine in that time when the Lord was teaching them. Our people had a little bit of power under the Romans. They'll just send you up to get crucified. They'll just kill you. So it's very heavy what's happening in this time, which guys are showing what they would do in the spirit if they had the, if they had the power and the freedom to do so. Hebrews 11 and 4, by faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. We're offering up a more excellent sacrifice because our sacrifice is to Yahweh Shai. We're teaching his covenant. That scripture that speaks on that is talking about going, when you go to teach the new covenant, not teaching out on the highways and byways that we're waiting on the covenant that we're still in the old or that we're not in it. We don't know we're in limbo, confused. Then the Yahweh Shai, then the scripture say that, let your yay be yay, let your nay be nay, because Yahweh Shai is yay. So you guys in these camps and groups and organizations, you guys are just a mess of confusion because one guy in your camp say this, another guy say that, he say this, he thinks this, he might it might be this. That's all limbo. The Lord said he was yay. So his covenant is sure, it's 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 sure. It's 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 implanted in the elect in these last times. So they're going to be born with the spirit of understanding the, that what was ha actually happening in the New Testament. Why that the covenant was made accessible as a what spiritual as spiritual principles and thing and ways to walk in and a way to live more abundantly as the lord said man this is literally what the lord gave us man and guys are, in their mind is so high in the ego that they just don't want to submit to Yahweh Shai, man that's why Yahweh Shai said those that will not reign will not have me to reign before them bring them here and slay them before me you're gonna be slayed through the spirit and eventually judgment from what from in this time because of the lack thereof of the knowledge wisdom and understanding of the mystery of Yahweh of this gospel that's the actual gospel but this has only been uh put into certain of us in these last days because what men are men and women in Israel is witnessing the gift and the sacrifice that is within us and many hate it because they're in the spirit of Cain, who slew his brother. In the spirit, the same spirit that was within the wicked scribes and Pharisees, which is why they slew Yahweh Shai, which is why they slew John. Which is why they slew the disciples and Paul. It's heavy, man, because the spirit of Yahweh Shai is not of this world, man. And those that are not of this world are going to be able to confess Yahweh Shai clearly and expose those that are not that are of this world that move after the rudiments and after the fleshly things and tangible things of this world. Hebrews 11 and 4, by faith, Abel offered unto the Most High more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness. By which of he obtained witness that he was righteous, the most high testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. 
So that whole story of Cain and Abel is very heavy because what's happening now is let me grab it real quick. We'll go back to first John. There's a couple more I want to get before we go back though. This is why the judgment is going to come down on you guys because you're doing the same thing, which is why Yahweh shall fill you, said, fill you up the measures of your fathers. So you guys are doing nothing, doing nothing but filling up the measures of your fathers because you're in your lot. So let's go back to First John, man, because this is what's happening again. Showing you, this was a parable in. Um, First John three, let's get it real quick. Scriptures are many folds, man. This is what Paul spoke on concerning the manifold wisdom of Yahweh Shai. This is what the Lord has given us. This is what the, comes with the Holy Spirit. A lot of things come with actually repenting to the new covenant and submitting to Yahweh Shai and agreeing with Him. Manifold wisdom. God's talking about we understand the folds of the man. Then why you don't understand these folds? Because this is not for you, man. First John three and ten. And this in this the children of the most high are manifest in the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Didn't the Lord say in the scriptures that the end of right the end of the law for righteousness is Yahweh Shai crucified? So if you're not in agreement with his covenant and what he actually died to open up us to spiritually and give us access which it speaks on all throughout the new testament what is it get, speaking of access giving access to a spiritual covenant so if you're not in agreement with that in this time then you are in sin so and you don't actually understand what it means to justify yourself according to righteousness you don't because you don't understand how shy which is your only justification first john three and I'm going to lead us all here. I don't want to make it too long. First John 3, guys are just carnal. They don't really understand that it's a spirit that has been revealed and has been put upon us to understand these things. It's not any of our doing. First John 3 and 10 and 11 and 10. And this, the children of the Most High are manifest. That's what's happening. That's what you're seeing. You're, you're seeing the children of the Most High being manifest. You're seeing through this gospel as the new covenant is taught, it's going to reveal to you who is of the children of the Most High. Because of the way it's taught, the spirit is taught in, it's only going to be compatible with those that are of the Lord when he's actually being taught. And this is what's being shown. This is what's being manifest. Verse John 3 and 10. In this, the children of the Most High are manifest in the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness, and we know that if you're not dwelling within Yahweh Shai, you are in sin, tells you that in the same book. And all them different uh, curses and all the different things you break according to the old law is, is abiding on you. Is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye have heard from the beginning. That we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. So what did the wicked scribes and Pharisees do to Yahweh Shai? They would have did it if they if it wasn't according to the They said we have no, our, according to our customs, we can't kill a man. Believe me, if they could, they would have killed Yahweh Shai themselves. Either way, they had and slew the Lord. Showing you the parallel here with Cain and Abel. Showing you the parallel what what's happening now digitally in this time through these video pistols back and forth with these with certain men at this time that are unbelieving and they can't see and that are full of pride and ego and think that they're the see you're not fooling anybody i don't know what guys are going out there you, you think you you're gaining points your 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 righteousness i said it before your righteousness meter has not moved any it hasn't increased and you've been doing this for years and it's still at zero because you're not teaching the lower. Teaching the whole nation. You guys are set up right now teaching the whole nation that we're waiting on the covenant. When you read in the scriptures, if you know how to fucking read, you see, ah, oh, dang, the old, that old covenant that we read in context in the Old Testament, it was done away in this time when we're reading here in the New Testament through Yahweh Shai. Wow, this is heavy. Guys don't even think like that carnal ass niggas man and man pleasers this is what we have in these last times which the lord spoke on 
Paul spoke on. Why are these things spoken on? Paul said, if I please men, I should not be a servant of the Lord. This is why he said this, because men were doing these things, which is what we're seeing. First John three. First John three and 12, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, which is you niggas and slew his brother and wherefore slew him and wherefore slew he him. Why did he slay him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteousness. So when we teach this, it exposes you niggas for all the wickedness and corruption that you, you guys been doing, man. And it's setting everything back on track, back and putting everything back into the right perspective and back into the right spirit, which is what Yahweh gave his life to establish. This is what's happening and guys are fighting against it. Guys are not taking heed to what happened in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter, what, uh, concerning what Gamaliel said. So guys are in this time fighting against God. <laughs> Showing you they're not, uh, they're not of God. And have not the most high because they don't have the son because they disagree with his covenant. Saying, basically, guys are in a cancer group saying that when Yahusha died, nothing happened. He just died. And, and we stayed in the old covenant. We still got to keep the old. <laughs> but that's not even what was going on, man. It's heavy. Uh, first John three and I've ended out here, man, because you niggas are of your father, the devil. This is why the Lord said this, man. You guys have that wicked one. You guys are not upright, man. You guys are not uh, the Israel of God. You're the Israel of, of the flesh of the bond woman. First John three and 10. And this, the children of the most high manifest. That's what's happening. And the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not. This is why Yahweh this is why Pilate knew they had and it's through the spirit. When Pilate said what he said, not because he knew, when he said what he said concerning Yahweh saying he knew that they had delivered him up because of envy, they understood that Yahweh people were envious of him. They understood these things. Same concept that's going on here in the book of John concerning Cain and Abel. So you're seeing who's of God and you're seeing who's of their father, the devil in this time by what they're teaching. God's teaching you, you're waiting on something that you need a new body, that you need to be in your land. You have to be able to discern that that might be the children of that wicked one, man. These wicked men that are not upright. They're not chosen of the Lord, man. They're of this world. First John 3 and 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So when Yahushai came and he brought eternal life, which is what certain of us have, through what? Through the spirit, understanding. <laughs> that he has given us so we understand that we have passed from life to uh from death unto life you we under, that's how we understand that you guys are still dead in the spirit man if you're not in agreement with the lord you're still dead the old covenant is dead so you guys are dead with it man you guys are spiritually dead so much so that you can't perceive that something new is open and accessible because you you haven't been given access to it damn man it's heavy your mind hasn't been created to go that far in understanding this. <laughs> and certain of you, it has, and you're just afraid to leave the camp because you know what we're saying is the truth. But you're only hurting yourself because you're supposed to be free to the Lord. Every man is supposed to be free to the Lord in this time. It's not about camp being in the camp. That's cool if you, if two of you brothers, you understand this covenant, the new covenant, and you know each other, and you have each other's number, you text or call each other certain things like that, and you just maybe you. You know, but it's not about actually making a setting up an organization and group and you should say so guys and they just carnally set these things up because guys are moving like the world. And that's showing you that they want to set up an organization that's 501c3 and 
uh, we got to get something going with a lot of guys. Guys got to keep our orders. And we the head, and he not the head. He's lower rank. You see, the Lord didn't bring that whole setup. That's not what the Lord was setting up in that time, which is showing you guys are not of God. It's crazy, man. First John, you guys have your father, the devil, like like how I said, man. It's cl it's clear. First John three and twelve. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brothers righteous. Before his scribes and Pharisees understood how Shai was a, was the son of the Most High. That's why he told him. He said, "Now that you see, because they were starting to figure out that then he is the Most High, or he is the son of the Most High, but he can't take our place." Same thing you have happening now, man. That's why he told him, "Now that you now that you see." Now your sin remaineth, because niggas don't want to repent. That's what we tell niggas. You see what we're saying is the truth. Even the apostles agree, <laughs> but they can't give up what they've been teaching because their ego and Satan won't let them. Because <laughs> these guys are of the world, man. They can't give up get their uh, their exaltation and their seat to be wrong. They can't swallow their pride. That's what does it say? The pride of life is that's that's of the world. A lot of guys are showing a lot of attributes, showing you they're of the world. They're showing a lot of understanding. They're under, through their understanding, we understand that they're of the world. Do what they understand. First John three. Mm-hmm. First John three and eleven. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him because his own works were righteous, because his own works were evil, and his brothers righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we have because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive, hereby perceive we the love of the Lord, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So this is what was taking place in the first century, man. This is the type of administrations. This is the type of uh, organizations that were happening during that time. They were quoting and after what the new covenant and they weren't in the cities. They weren't a part of the many. This was a few. This is a certain amount of remnant of spirits in that time that are back now. First John three and they are perfected forever. Why? Be and how will you be able to tell? They'll be able to understand Yahushua's covenant. It'll be a completely different ball game concerning teaching that we're is teaching uh, Israel in these time in these last days. Because those that are Israel of God are going to be teaching Yahushua, making him the focus instead of things of this world, man. First John three. It's heavy, man. First John three. And I'm going to get out of here after this. 1 John 3 and 17. But whoso hath this world's goods and see if his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion for him, how dwelleth the love of the Most High in him? And that's what we have happening today with all these groups and organizations and camps. A nigga is literally worth hundreds of millions of dollars in Israel. And it's keeping the wealth on top just like Esau does. You of your father the devil. See? See how the spirit, the spirit of how men do things and what they do with their wealth? There was many men in, in, in those times when Yahweh walked the earth that believed in Yahweh that gave everything up. Comparable to somebody in this time being worth hundreds of millions of dollars, man. But guys would want to keep their hundreds of millions of dollars and their 501c3, 501c3 charter. What? Continuing to teach false doctrine. It's only one way that God's got it. We have to go into time. It's through Yahweh Shah. He's the door. The book of John, the 10th chapter, man. First John 3 and 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby know we the love of the Most High. Because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's goods, and see if his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion for him, how dwelleth the love of the Lord in him? 
My little children, let us not love in word, in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And this is how we what we love those that hate us <laughs> by teaching the covenant. That's all we could do, man. We're not under the old covenant anymore. We're after the the new uh, agreement that Yahweh gave his life for to establish in the first century. It's simple, man. First John three. And I'm going to skip down. Uh, first John three and twenty three. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Let's start up a little bit. First John three and twenty four. If our heart condemn us, the most high is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward the most high and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment. Let's see what that commandment is. That we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And this is his commandment. That we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us. This is how what we're saying is showing you that what's being revealed in this time is who is of God and who is not of God by what's being taught. Is why we say this. It says, and he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us. This is how we know that the Lord is with us. That we have, we are of God. This is how we know these things. <laughs> no matter the, uh, no, no matter or no concerns about the flesh. This is why Paul said that, that we are the concision that worship the Most High after the Spirit and have no confidence in the flesh. That's why these things are being said. But we understand and perceive that through our understanding that we're of God. We're able to comprehend Yahweh Shai. Tell you that in the book of Hebrews, those that are in a covenant with you, with Yahweh Shai, going back to the first century, they said the witness is having the spirit. This is what was being revealed to Paul. He was witnessing the spirit upon himself. After being knocked off the horse by Yahweh Shai. It's heavy, man. First John 3 and 24. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. And the spirit which he hath given us many hate. Just like the Most High gave you how a shy a certain spirit, which many hated. The Lord gave the disciples a, a, a certain spirit. Paul a certain spirit. Us a certain spirit. Which many hate. <laughs> you see? Even though what we're saying is going according to the scriptures, God still hate us. Because of envy. Same reason they delivered the Lord up, man. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, man. Guys are envious of Yahweh Shai's spirit, just as they were in the first century. Guys are in disagreement with Yahweh Shai. Guys are in disagreement with God in this time, man, teaching that the covenant's not here. When that's the whole storyline of the New Testament. So it's very demonic what uh, a lot of men are doing in these times, man. So repent to the New Covenant. Read the New Testament. The New Covenant is fully accessible. Principles, the spirit, repentance. And that is where the manifold wisdom and knowledge is, man. Shalom.